Oh, and they get violent, apparently. I saw him throw a shoe yeah. at, uh, <laughs> I, at an authority there. And uh, speaking of basketball stars, I think this guy of right here, James Lafferty, joining us now from One Tree Hill. You are actually really, obviously, you're a basketball player on the show when you're in high school, but you really are. You were really good uh, <laughs> in real life. I held out in high school, and uh, I played all my, my entire life, and it never really stopped when I got on the show because obviously we have to play basketball on the show. And you can't fake it, you're saying. Uh, no. Being well, good at you can try, but, yeah. you can try, <laughs> but people will see right through you. Exactly. Actually, grew up in Hemet. Ah, mm -hmm. Hemet boy, make Hemet, it good. How about that? Want to give a shout out to to Hemet? What's up, 951? <laughs> yeah, the 951. Right. We're I played you in the, used to be the 909. We that's played right. you uh, what, from 29 Palms High School. Yes. We played you guys. That's right. Same class. Deanza League. League. I don't know if you're in the Deanza League, but we were in the Deanza League. And we I think they were Sun Belt or something like that. I think yeah. we used to school you guys on a regular basis. Oh, oh. Yeah. We, got, we had you my senior year. So. Back in the 60s, his team was <laughs> hey, on fire. Hey, we're Kidding. That's where balls go. because you guys fast forwarded four years so you're no longer in high school you've now moved on your grown-ups and you have issues yes all of you have acquired you issues see here there. i'm walking with a cane uh nathan's had a little bit of an accident and um yeah, so we got in a bar fight, got thrown through. McKinley, that happened to you. Too. <laughs> That's what you so, uh, so yeah, so Nathan, like you said, has some issues. He's rehabbing from this, and then trying to hold his family together and whatnot. So yeah, typical drama for Nathan. Scott. Of, of course, <laughs> yeah. of course. So how many episodes do you have left then? Because obviously the writer strike. You haven't been in North Carolina filming. You've oh. been here in LA. I've been here in LA uh, since probably mid December. I was here through the holidays, and um, I've been here since. And we actually finished uh, twelve episodes. So I think. If five have aired now, we've got about seven more to uh, to air, and uh, so we've got you know a good season still ahead of us. And yeah. Everybody's sort of just crossing their fingers. Do you miss North Carolina? I do miss North Carolina. Yeah. I've sort of made up my home there over the past four and a half years, and it's a really nice place to be. I actually love it. There's a great beach there. There's a great nightlife and downtown area, and um, a lot of basketball. Wrights Wrightsville play. Beach. Yeah, Wrightsville yeah. Beach. Yeah. That's where we sort of hang out in the summertime and. It's a, it's a nice place. And do the locals sort of accept, have they sort of sort of embraced you as their own? Do they know that you're there doing the show and they take ownership of that? Yeah, and it's actually, it's interesting because we film in Wilmington where uh, Dawson's Creek used to film. Yeah. So they were there for six years before we were. So they're sort of used to, you know, Dawson's Creek was, I think, even sort of a bigger show than, than us. So they were the, I, I would say we sort of followed in their footsteps. So uh, Wilmington has embraced us and they sort of That's cool. know what the deal is. Yeah, they're like those WBCW guys, you know, <laughs> they're, they're just they're those veterans. guys. Um, so obviously there's kind of a new twist happening this season. You're now married because you're older now, you're out of high school. You have a kid. Mm -hmm. um, but what's up with the nanny? Um, uh -oh. You have a nanny in the household and she's no Mrs. Doubtfire, we were saying. She's <laughs> kind of on the hot side. That's what, a good way to put it. <laughs> What's happening with the nanny? Uh, well, Haley is, you know, auditioned some nannies to come help take care of um, Jamie, their son, because Nathan is sort of out of commission and trying to rehab, and he's got his own issues. Um, and Haley obviously has a full-time job now. Right. And uh, so they bring in a nanny who turns out to be... Uh, a little bit less of a person than they expected. Oh, and I really. love the teaser that says, what happened when your nanny loves your family more than you? Ooh. Sneak peek at the clip tonight. Check it out. I think I overdid my rehab and still out having a little trouble. This might not be the most appropriate job for you. Stop it. Nannies are like doctors. You let your doctors see you like this, don't you? That depends on where he takes me to dinner. <laughs> you know, Haley asked me not to wear a bikini in the pool. She said it was inappropriate around Jamie. Here you go. You good? Yeah. Listen, Carrie, I, um, I'm sure that Haley didn't mean anything by it. I mean, I know she likes you. Yeah. It's just kind of ironic, you know? I mean, if she's worried about someone getting turned on out at the pool, she probably shouldn't let you go shirtless. Hello. Hello. Inappropriate. Dude, can you give me the number of the agency? <laughs> right. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in the, the yeah, yeah, I'm in the market. Yeah. In real life, no woman would ever hire her. <laughs> exactly. It's not going to happen. That put your pants on for you. got to give her an A+. Plus. Yeah. James you know, that clip plays better backwards, actually. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, <I'm... laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We can't wait to find out what happens oh. with you and the nanny. And uh, that's tonight, One Tree Hill, <laughs> 9 o'clock. The guys are...